What causes shad to get active on our big man-made lakes? What is a something that can happen that can let you know that the shad are going to get active and you ought to get after the fish? Good morning, guys and girls. September 22, let's look at the book of Proverbs. You know, I would just love to have time to sit down with Proverbs and write a 365-day devotional on the book of Proverbs, maybe Proverbs and Psalms. Nothing else, all 365 days, maybe one proverb, one psalm, and just do that. I don't know if a guy could get that, do that or not, but I suppose you could. It'd be kind of cool because I love both of those books of the Bible. Proverbs 28, 25 says, A greedy person causes trouble, but the one who trusts the Lord will succeed. Woo! Motivation for success. Roadmap to success. The one who trusts the Lord will succeed. One of the best places to find a school of bass this time of the year is on a ledge, on a creek channel, or on a point. Bass will school on these particular spots to feed on shad when the shad get active. If you can get one bass to bite, the others often will get greedy and go into a feeding frenzy. I've had that happen quite a bit here lately. Just about every time I've gone fishing, I've found that happening right there. That's great for you. It's a lot of trouble for the bass. I was whacking them. I was really catching them when I got them into a feeding frenzy like that. And they were in exactly this type of situations I wrote about here back in 2005. By the way, if you're not subscribed to the Catch the Day channel, subscribe to that. Uh, if, uh, if, if, you, if you know friends that are not subscribed to it, invite them to subscribe to the Catch the Day channel. It will absolutely change your life. I mean, it's just absolutely what uh, will change your life. Uh, God will do that if you just get into His Word every day. Give it a try for three or four weeks. See if your life doesn't change because I'm telling you, God will change your life. Uh, um, where, where am I? I lost my place. Greed is difficult for most of us. Greed is really difficult for most of us. Difficult for me. There's a fuzzy line between greed and ambition. I have always been driven with, by ambition to succeed at whatever I'm doing. I mean, I can be playing checkers with one of my grandkids, and I'm just driven to succeed. Uh, but that's what Chris said. He won't even let the grandkids beat him in checkers. We all want success, and often success and greed are measured by what we have. You hear what I'm saying? Sometimes people measure success by what they accomplish, what they have. You know, I've heard it said a lot that uh, when you die, he who's got the most toys wins. Can I tell you that's not true? <laughs> when you die, God doesn't care how many toys you have. That has nothing at all in the world. He's not interested in how many toys you have. He's interested in your relationship with Jesus Christ. That's the one thing you have to have. Doesn't matter how many toys you got in your barn or in your boat building or in the bank or in your gun vaults or whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I believe greed is actually measured by what it costs you, not what you have. You know what I'm saying? I believe that greed is actually measured by what it costs you, not what you have. Greed, the way I define it, is what you are willing to pay or give up to get what you want. What are you willing to pay or what are you willing to give up in your life to get what you want? Charlie Daniels' old song, Devil Went Down to Georgia. You know, the guy got in a fiddle contest with the, with the devil. What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to give up? How much time are you willing to give up? Are you willing to give up time with your family? Are you willing to give up time with your church? Are you willing to give up Sunday mornings or Sunday evenings to get what you want? God says, here's the deal. God says... Success comes from trusting Him. <laughs> That's, how simple is that? Success comes from trusting Him. It's what it says right here in Proverbs 29, 25. The one who trusts the Lord will succeed. You got a problem you're going through right now. You got something involved in business or in your family situation or with your kids or whatever health situations. The way to succeed in each one of those situations, in all of those situations, is trusting in the Lord. The one who trusts the Lord will succeed. Wow, that's cool, isn't it? Here's our tip for today. Shad will get active 
on man-made lakes when current begins to flow, when current begins to flow. That's exactly what you want to be looking for there is current flowing in the water. When the current starts flowing, the shad are going to get active and generally the bass get active. I did a show here a while back with uh, my buddy Stacy King on Table Rock Lake. We fished all day long. We found several big schools of fish on our Garmin Live Scope and we caught maybe eight or ten fish all day long and then they started running current. We were checking all the time to see when they'd turn a current on. They turned it on about 3.30 or 4 o'clock. We went back to a school of fish we found earlier in the day, and we, for a solid hour, we just whacked them fish after fish after fish. The shad had become active when the current was on. Once the shad became active, the bass became active. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you.